Good morning, Freedom Fighters. It is 7.30 a.m. September 19th, 2024. We're looking over the United States. It's some very unusual frequency waves coming out of these radar systems this morning. I'm going to pause it. Tell you what I mean here. Look at these strange ripples. One, two, three, four, five ripples. Still see the ripples. I'm going to show you what them ripples are here in a second. And that's what's creating this storm. It's that energy from their machine. And it started out there. These machines all work together as one. But I want to show you what those ripples are. It's frequency waves. Stand by. We're all seeing this now in the sky. This is not their lies called gravity waves. This is their machine working. We've all seen these ripples in the sky now. That was not there 30 years ago. I would say I've never seen it 10 years ago. Never seen this before. But this is the pattern. Every pattern that we show you is real patterns. You can look them up. Whether people want to admit it or even realize it, we are in World War III already, but it is not what we think war is about. It's electronic war against the minds of the people. There is chemicals that can make you go completely crazy. They could use just simple chemicals to create madness in people. I've showed documents on this material that used to be used for deer and hat making that call people mad hatters because of this chemical. It's going to be next to impossible to wake up the mentally challenged. Hypnosis is the most powerful tool that these lunatics have. And it's not a watch everybody's fixated on. It's in their hands. We are being poisoned, my friends. Whether they want to admit it or not. Nowhere is our skies normal any longer. Something is very fishy going on here. I understand what it is, but I cannot believe people don't want to know the truth or even care to try to fight it. Some very powerful microwave energy being used in the north today, Wisconsin. Looks like most of it's coming out of today. Yesterday was Michigan. I want to touch base on the burning of our planet. This is all smoke over South America. And I really did thought they were preserving Africa for themselves. But I'm wrong. Unbelievable fires they have created in Africa. Thousands of fires at one time. Only laser technology can do this to us. Stand by. I really cannot believe how many fires I am seeing. This is yesterday evening. But if you look at it, it's all of it. It's not this one fire. It's thousands of fires. This is not on HD, and this is yesterday evening. Each one of these trails of smoke is an individual fire. They have lit Africa on fire as well. God have mercy on our souls, my friends. First Hawaii, Chile, Portugal. And at the exact same time, they were burning Canada, Oregon, Washington. 
And at the exact same time, they were burning the entire continent of Africa. Like I said, this is yesterday. This is the day before. Each one of these puffs is an individual fire. My friends, they are lighting the world on fire. And they are going to blame Mother Nature. To steal your gas power stoves and cars. Fuel is never about fossils. No fossils ever been found near petroleum oil, and no petroleum oil has ever been found with fossils. It is the blood of the earth, if you want to call it something at all. The burning of Africa. It just goes right on, guys. It doesn't matter. They've been burning Africa for a very long time this year. I'll say it all started probably about the same time they started burning Canada. But let's go to South America's fires. Where I was saying it's impossible. You can see each hig each smoke, each fire. There's thousands of fires. Thousands of fires. Each one of these are attacks. And it looks small, right? But that's 18,000 acres right there. That's 21,000 acres. They look tiny from outer space, but they're not tiny. They're burning the people. I wish I could see over here. That's just a split in the uh, image of the satellite image. Dead zones, I can guess you can call it. Oh, man. My heart aches for the planet. What happens when you really are a part of nature, like we're supposed to be? This winter, I have it where they lit the Yucatan, I could show you. But they've been really burning Washington State this year. And you can see remnants of fires there. Major fires. This was just 19 days ago. Kind of to show you something very unusual is going on in our planet. And it's no longer a blue planet. Our entire globe. It's clouded over. That looks like smoke coming from somewhere, but it might be just the sun shining down at that time. I haven't lit Madagascar up yet. I haven't seen any fires here yet. But my goodness of what they're doing to Africa. All I can do is pray for y'all. Hope everybody finds Jesus before it's too late. Like he found me. The gift he gave me. No fear. Really sad about Portugal. This is yesterday morning. They lit Portugal on fire all at one time. On the 15th, the night of the 15th, they burned these people while they slept. Undeniable, if somebody sees my material, that there is something fishy going on here, and I would not trust the government to tell me even what the weather's doing. That is almost funny. We're surrounded by incredible technologies, and it is not for seeing the rain. It is for creating the rain. Their technologies cannot be hidden from their technologies. We do, need, do not need a hundred next red radar systems across five states, or however many is here, I'm exaggerating. To see the rain. 
but to control the rain and create the rain. Look at North Carolina right now with this frequency. They are creating weather with this technology. And not for the use of good. That could have been. They could have used all this for good. But when you have lunatics at the will, true lunatics, greed can destroy the mind in certain ways that most people can't understand. And I don't know if they can even see it or feel it either. But greed is the ultimate sin, in my opinion. Whether there's sins greater than others, it has to be. It has no choice but to be. But sin is where we are at. And the four horsemen is coming. And death is our reward for not paying attention. Commercial Fisherman standing by. Y'all have a great day.